and get your kiss on. Alright, what's up my quesadillas? Right now I am in Coronado, California, an island next to San Diego. This is where my family is currently living in, here for the holidays. It's July 1st, it's the new year. Went out to the beach just um, thinking about life, you know? Just uh, reminiscing on 2018 and stuff like that. Just wanted to make this video though, to kind of like connect with you guys again on a personal level. I don't do that very often. I'm always just focused on trying to be funny, entertaining you guys. Sometimes I come across very ingenuine. I know the OG quesadillas can like see through it. They know I'm, I always got this sarcastic mask on, you know, but a lot of people think I'm a dick for real you know not that i act like a dick in videos but i guess some of my jokes are like what i do if you look at it in a completely serious way then it's like i'm kind of dickish maybe but you know it's all for the goofs and the gaffs the good old laughs so yeah 2018 has been pretty fun year pretty good year graduated high school in may then moved out to japan i finished up my senior year of high school got late made a hip-hop club at my school did dance performances got lit and then i graduated in may and then on july 1st i moved from colorado springs to tokyo japan to uh pursue youtube full-time and so far it's been uh all right i always wish everything could go better but i think at least my content is getting better and even if i'm not getting a whole lot of new people watching the ones that are watching are entertained. So that's what's most important to me. One thing I learned on YouTube over the past six years of me doing it is what's important is not getting new followers, but keeping your old followers. And that's something I've been working on, um, especially since I came out here to Japan. I'm just trying to make good content that you guys will uh, eat up. It's crazy how I'm doing YouTube full-time now. Not exactly full-time, like I'm not fully independent because I, I was living with my uncle. When I do go back to Japan in February, I'm actually gonna get my own place. So then I'll be like straight up fully independent, but it's pretty crazy how, how far I've come. I mean, I'm only like 1% towards the goal, the ultimate goal of what I want in life. But I mean, let's kick it back into perspective. So when I was like six, seven years old, when YouTube first started, 2006, 2007, I was watching Nigahiga, like how to be gangster, how to be ninja, how to be emo, all that shit. I was watching Nigahiga and like he made funny videos and as this little Asian kid, I was like, I wanna do that too. I actually did make a video. I made a video with my friend in Germany. We made one video. We were trying to make a second video, but then I moved. I remember I had like these big goals, these big like plans of how I'm gonna be a big YouTuber and stuff back when I was nine or 10 with that channel in Germany. But yeah, that channel's not a thing anymore. Then I moved to Monterey, California in about 2011. About one or two years later, I picked up YouTube again. I just started uploading like school projects and like, I don't know, just little fun skits I was making with my friends onto YouTube and my passion for it grew. And I had like 50 subscribers at the time. It was just friends and family that that subscribed. I remember one time I showed a school project that was on my YouTube channel to my math class and then my math teacher saw the recommended which were my other videos and just start watching all my videos on the smart board with the whole class watching that shit was embarrassing but yeah that was fun and then i moved to japan in about 2014 i think I lived in japan for a little bit didn't have a whole lot of friends um and then japan is when i really like honed in on youtube i remember i hit like 100 subscribers pretty soon after i got to japan i kept making videos for two years there 2015 is when i moved to colorado when i got to colorado i had 800 subscribers and then a couple months later i hit a thousand subscribers i was doing the whole happy school days thing faking a japanese accent and then that shit blew up like the next year in october 2016 and that's when my life kind of changed i went from 4,000 subscribers to 150,000 subscribers within like literally a week it was pretty crazy and then that's when youtube became more of a reality youtube was always like my dream job but like you know in the back of my mind realistically probably not gonna happen it's a very like chance thing you know getting big on youtube so once i got that you know little blow up right there i actually got a fan base and i was like holy shit i could do this and so junior senior year of high school i started pumping out more videos trying my best but you know at the same time i was younger just being a high school kid don't know the best things to do so channel didn't do so well for a little bit after i blew up stayed at 160 000 subscribers for like a whole year i was just making videos that i had on a list 
that were just like my ideas that I had. And then like the start of senior year, I started thinking entertainment. I just started like looking at my videos from like other people's perspective because like when I was making videos back then in like 2016, before my senior year, I was making videos for, for girls. Not that I was doing that on purpose, but most of my audience was like 16 year old Tumblr girls that thought I was cute or just girls that liked Asian boys. I remember I was at a party one time and I was talking to a guy. We were all in a group and some other guy was like talking about my channel and stuff like that. He asked what I do in my videos and then another guy he said, oh you wouldn't like it trust me. And I was joking around like what, what are you talking about? And he's like no offense but your videos suck. And I was like oh shit. And I mean I don't know. I don't think the video sucked but it, it definitely was just you know it was just me sitting and talking to the camera telling a story or like talking about something so I mean I thought it was entertaining I thought it was cool but I think it's a lot easier to watch when you're you know a teenage girl that finds me attractive rather than you know a teenage dude that doesn't really give a f so then like after that moment I just started thinking entertainment more ideas started coming to my head and then in late 2017 I spent $500 to go to Las Vegas did a whole makeover and uh, made the k-pop video and then that shit blew up pushed me up to like 200k and then i just kept making videos you know things were going well the videos were definitely getting better so you know senior year is when you know i started upping up the videos and then i uh made some cool vlogs made some cool videos and then I graduated, moved to Japan, and that's when I like straight up became a vlogger. Cause like my videos always used to be just like this, sitting down, except in my room. And I would just talk to the camera talking about a story or a topic or something like that. But now I would call myself a vlogger. That's, that's what I do now. So I made that jump and uh, now always trying to make my content better. In Japan, started getting a lot more subs, almost 300K now. So thank you so much for that. But honestly though, around October time, that's when like, my channel stopped growing because I got really close to 300k and then I just stopped this wave of like you know going to Japan and all that shit just ended so then I just stopped growing and then I kind of just I don't know kind of gone a slump I started thinking can I actually do this can I actually be a youtuber I started doubting myself um I stopped posting for three weeks and if you didn't notice then thanks for looking out for me but yeah stop posting and then while I was filming booty man that song I met these three youtubers one of them showed me a book taught me a lot of things basically like my mentor straight up he kind of gave me a vision of like what to do open my eyes a little bit and um yeah now i know what to do and i'm ready to take on 2019 and i hope you guys enjoy the ride that's all i gotta say really i just want to thank you guys for everything anything you guys do to support me i'm just trying to get this bread man i think a lot of people see that i'm a youtuber and i got you know i got some numbers so people think i'm like this i don't even know some high status kind of shit but i'm literally just a normal kid i'm just trying to be funny and entertain the people who watch me so i'm glad you guys enjoy my shit as cliche as it sounds, it's true. I can't do this without you guys. You guys are the reason I'm not a homeless person right now. Nah, I'm just kidding. But nah, you guys are the reason I'm not like a straight up bum. Just like living in my parents' house, like not doing anything with my life. I'm actually doing something. I didn't get accepted to any colleges. So I'm glad you guys helped me with this whole YouTube opportunity. And thank you for supporting my shit, basically. So yeah, I hope y'all had a great 2018 and let's get this pond. Oh yeah, I forgot to do one of those things that YouTubers do where they like list everything they've done and then have like, have like pictures and videos in the background showing that. I honestly didn't do a whole lot, but I guess I could list them out real quick. So start of 2018, I continued my hip hop club, which I started in senior year. I got back into swimming, made it to state, made a vlog about that, did three different dance performances, went to my first and last prom, graduated high school, moved to Japan, vlogged a lot, signed with Tokyo Creative, just met a lot of cool people. And yeah, that's all I can think of right now. Not a whole lot, but you know, it was a good year. I would do my outro right now, but I feel like this is just not the time so yeah all i'm gonna say is uh thank you for everything